takes out Akali while he might have a pretty decent matchup against the Shen with the Conqueror, with the Divine Sunderer. There are three champions here, maybe even four champions that you have a really tough time against. Lee Sin reviews you in your Shroud. Kalki's Phosphorus Bombs review you in your Shroud. Lux just binds you mid-dash. Gragas does the same with the Body Slam. Akali's gonna have a very hard time trying to pop off this game. And once again, I want to look to Sirius in the mid lane with this Lucian pickup to see what he can do. All right, give me a number. What's the timer we're looking at for Sirius? What's he need to get done? Are you asking me how long they're going to last in this game, or what are you asking me? <laughs> I'm asking you how long the series have to get ahead in the mid lane. Well, if he built Hellbreaker Black Cleaver again, he has zero minutes. He's just lost the game. Well, depends on how things go <laughs> for the very first item built, I suppose, here for Stabbing at Esports as they face up against the Juggernauts, JD Gaming, in game number two in the Icons Global Championship. This is going to be a very exciting one because yet again we see a clash of styles from these two teams. Stamina, they have the burden to play fast, to play a bit more aggressive. They don't have the late game insurance with the Jacks, but I guess that's a good thing because frankly they're never getting to the late game against JDG anyway. So let's just all in. Let's just back up a point and let's see what we can do if we play aggressive from the get-go against JDG. It's not going to be easy, but let's see if they can do it. Avoid the strong points from your enemies. That's what Stamina want to get done as you go up Is that up also a Bruce Lee quote? I think that's like a Sun Tzu call. Probably. Okay, Pro probably something along. And look at this, not respecting stages. Exhaust being traded. That's gonna be it, though. We do see a move coming through from Doki. He's been spotted out by Lazing. There's a move into the mid lane, just trying to tag out some damage. Sing though, it's gonna be on the other side of the map. Look at the parallel jungle here. This is a good adaptation from Stamina. They were a step behind the last time around. Oof, look at that, just using the Ignite to force Weft Death away. But guess what? Singto's here. Double thumbs up and the wave oh, crashing no, in. Doki's, Doki's coming in here to make it an unfair fight. Avoid it, rushing over as quickly as he can, but you have to get the Shroud out now. And still, first blood moves over to JDG. And yet again, with Death, he dies with Barrier and Flash, both available. Avoid now is dead as well, by the way. He's, He's level two. The Ignite comes across, the Haymaker comes in with the shield, but tanking up the turret and walking out, dropping aggro a second to JDG. And JD and numbers take advantage. Temp. Lemon just trading freely right there. If there was a level 5 and ultimate available from Web Death, he might have turned that around. But here we go. Moving on, Arvoinen to get the Dragon's Rage to kick back onto the set. Pulls him back towards the Lux, but they're not able to finish off the kill yet. The final auto attack out oh, from no. Shu will get it done. And trying to take down a second, but Gomello walks out in time. And you kind of see why this matchup is actually pretty good for Makali. You get to just zone away to Shen. You can play outside his range. He has to use Taunt to get on top of you, to trade with you. And if he does that, then you're free to trade with him. Extend the trade with you out. The aggressive boost from Sirius, and he's doing a much better job this time around. The Kalin's going to chunk out no, Juju in the yeah. middle lane. Fosses out the AWP as well, but we're just going to see some spells being traded back and forth. Nothing really oh, significant. Dropping some vision in the top out. side, but JDG, they walk in. Despite that, you can see us coming, but we're still going to take the turret. There's absolutely nothing you can do, Avoidant. They're looking for an engage. Avoidant flashes, pulled them back in, gets a showstopper. Doki flashes over the wall. A beautiful knockback on the Avoidant means another kill going over. Oh Lemon flashes God. away, gets the Prismatic Barry up in time. No. As Sing, though, trains back damage with death, misses the chance for a kill. I'm gonna be real with you here, Grandin. I think if I was playing the Akali right there, I would have gotten a triple kill. Oh, okay. I'm fighting with a heroic effort. Oh by my the way. goodness! Is that's the stand. United dead diving on the turret. You might have the shroud, oh, but no. it doesn't matter. Beautifully placed, beautifully oh, timed. The taunt comes in, and it's easy pickings from there. How good are they, huh? How good are the WRL teams? How good is JDG? Look, even if you were playing Akali, I'm pretty sure you die. Well, definitely, 100%. I'd be 0-5 right now. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Changing a tune real on quick. JDG we have to see how serious does. Objectives spawned up. The first spawn of the game. Going in their favor as the thing's gonna make his way down to the bomb side. Juju just has to pop the package. It's an easy escape from there. Yeah, they do force out the package, but I think it was close to timing out anyway. That's gonna be the Rift Herald picked up. Look at where Doki is on the map. There's no way Stamina can even start this dragon. No objective trade to be had. It's just I mean, free two objectives. It's still solid damage. Sure. Despite the despite the, the Hellbreaker start from Juju. Yeah, pretty decent damage, I'll be honest with you there. Beautiful dodge uh, okay. away. Yeah, Doki gets out of that. That's a very important fight starting tool being used as well. Chains of Corruption being down. Gabello and Avoid have been doing <laughs> very good damage this game. I like the usage of the Lux Ultimate there to really just stop the back. Really just messes with the tempo. And look at Doki. He's not going to let you back as well. He has explosive cast. You can never recall. They're just moving so on the obnoxious. Dragon now. Vision up for Stamina, but JDG's to pick this one up regardless. As we start to see here, Lemon zoning them out oh. well. Avoid and trying to pull him back oh. on the turret, but he just dashes away with the taunt. Avoidant has been doing a very good job at being aggressive, at starting these plays, but you got to question is he's... Well, you don't have to question it, you kind of know. He's starting to feel a bit desperate there. Forces a play onto the Shen, outs him back in the turret, but Shen just says, 
You know what? I can just taunt away. Fight's over. Dragon gets picked up. We're on the we're on route here to really just seeing a perfect game come out from JDG. Grant. We had a five man pull from Avoid in the last game, and despite that, they and weren't they got able one to, kill, <laughs> and they weren't able to turn things around. One kill over to them. Yeah. And I have to say, if I were Avoid, so well, I think anyone can continue to put the pressure on the stamina now. Rift out used in the mid lane. Rift Herald used in the mid lane, you might not have the Ziggs, but that's a one shot. A clear execute coming in, the Exhaust will buy enough time to keep them alive for oh. now. Taunt a little bit too early there from Lemon. Now with that moves in onto Sane though, taking down the Lee Sin. Chasing off the mid laner, Lemon still now stuck in the jungle of Stamina Esports. JDG <laughs> moving in to try and rescue the Shen. A beautiful taunt oh, no. and a final spark doesn't need it because Doki will finish them off for you. Fall down inside of Stamina. Fight continues yeah, in the mid lane as well, and that's gonna be a prime gaming ace out here for JDG. And JDG, they just do not care. They dive you behind your tier two turret while your tier one's still up. And Chu and Doki, man, what did I tell you about the dual tandem? Timeless one might not be here, but Chu is making a serious case for being a stellar dragon laner himself. In tandem with Doki, really, just the two of them have such great synergy. And I think a lot of this comes from the fact that JDG played way more in. One of the sure, longest yeah. series, right? Once yeah. he got into the knockout stage, they played against something like 20 games against against Weibo. So you think they kind of learned about you know, we don't get you know, both teams Because have... there's no time! They just come in with the final spark with death, narrowly escapes with the perfect execution, but JDG hunting for kills at this point. We missed the best part, but that's what you guys have to remember. Doki and Chin, the combos on these two. Avoid is just saying, you know what? If you want something done right, you really just gotta do it yourself. I am the carry now as he takes down Lemon in the top side. They wanna dive on the series, but he manages to get away. Yeah, they do <laughs> let Sirius get out of that situation. But still, you gotta consider JDG, they're making plays on both sides of the map at once. They're making plays everywhere they want to. They have full control of the game, and they're really using it. <laughs> JDG get to easily move around the map now as we get ready for the second objectives coming up. The Rift Tower here again. It's going to be the package breakdown here by Jojo as he moves in to the mid lane, setting themselves up for the Dragon as well. I mean, just so much done with every play. So much done with every play is exactly the name of the game here from JDG. They're making everything work exactly the way they want it. Avoinan and Doki having a bit of a staring contest in the river over the Scuttle Crab. But JDG, they're bringing more members and they have the package. They walk in. I think Lemons found the kill on the Sirius. Okay. The final all tank does it. Package coming in as well. That's going to be the audacious charge he's going coming in. through when it becomes lightning as he dash in. He's going to escort Lemon in on to avoid an in between turrets. Reptile used up to the top side. There is just nothing wasted on the side of JDG. Like I said, Grandin, this is not cross map play. This is cross map destruction from JDG right now. Rip Hero takes top lane tier two. Bot lane tier one is still up, but JDG, they're just diving you behind like two turrets. Second charge comes across. Oh, they save it. Oh, stop it. <laughs> they even used the Sin Ultimate. Just in time. Just in time. Look at this. Lemon is proxy farming you right now. 11,000 up now. Lemon's going to walk in. I think he's been caught out of <laughs> position. Has a Twilight Shroud, but. I can tell you he's locked right in. In time for the he Dragon Fight. As JDG, just ignore the fact that they're a man down. They're just going to walk into the enemy jungle, take control as they set up for the, the Mountain Drag. Ooh. Get the Look knockback that. onto Whiff Death again. He doesn't have his ultimate this time around. The Valkyrie going to be used. Exos comes in. Serious, looking to trade for some damage. Man. Piercing light on the exit. That's frankly a little bit brutal. What that had to flash away at the end of that one as well. I want to point out he does have the Lich Bane picked up, so his goal is going to be, you know, trying to be an assassin, trying to get onto the Chu, trying to get onto Jojo. But I'm not sure if that's really going to pan out in this game. Maybe with the Death Cap, he could try to make a miracle happen. But like I said, Akali is such a hard time in the JDG's team composition. Taunt, binding, body slam, kick. Just really so many spells to shut you down. Yeah, there's so many things that can easily hold the Akali in place. And Without while they were able to see her, while they were able to deal with it kind of a, a little bit by removing the stuff, like you don't have the ability to start fights yourself. Final spark on Gamelo, the flash away from the Varus. Oh as he gets tagged again, the Sonic Wave, Resonating oh Strike, Dragon Rage, the knockback, Lazing, and the assassination of Stamina as JDG dive through the turrets. Ignite no. comes across, Doki's gonna get it done. Going golden, Juju's still alive, but only for a moment longer as Sirius will finally look to take down his no. counterpart. Dashing in with the safeguard, Zingdo finishes him off with the chilling smite to get the triple kill, leaving Sirius the only man alive. No, JDG, you need to stop this. This is not okay. You're playing on the world stage. You're playing at Icons Global right now, and you're making montage clips like that? That's not okay. That's not all right. <laughs> and just continuing to take 
stamina. And somehow the, the inhibitor the dropped as well. Okay, the call is mid laner safe. Sirius goes down again, is going to go over the sink though. Once again. Well, yeah, that sounds about right. L that looks about right, Sinkto. Look at his build right now. Full damage, not a cat in the world. He almost goes to a Black Cleaver, Divine Thunderer, Guardian's Angel coming right up too. He can do anything he wants. He's styling, he's profiling, he's having a good time. Baron's gonna get taken down by JDG. What's the goal lead, Granted, I can't even count it. 16,000? Yeah, we're oh, looking at six, like a 16,000 goal lead right now. Amazing. And Baron going over to JDG. As you see, six kills over on Doki, by the way. On a Doki is not a support. Voltaic Gragas. Last game he had an amazing time on a Rakan. Now on the Gragas, he is also showing off his mechanics, frankly. His explosive cast, barring the first one he used on Gomelo, have been amazing. The Zings are nice later. He's gonna use the Crescent Strike to try and knock them away, trying to get back to safety. But gets tabbed with the light binding the way out. Over to the mid lane. You have to trade somewhere and Juju might be that oh, target. Man. Akali out just being used, not doing any damage. Look at those moves the coming in here. Singdo with the flash, he brings in Lemon. They're under the turrets, they're in the base, they're on the oh, Nexus, nice and they're prepared to close this one out. Final spot comes on to Gomelo for a double kill back over to Singdo. You have to worry about Juju, but the rest of his team will finish off the game, and JDG on the world stage get it done 2 0.